Hello everyone, I've stooped to a new low for content. Please welcome a cute kitty for your pleasure. This is Chad, I didn't name him, my, my daughter's new cat. And now I can feel like Dr. Evil while I drop science and debunk BS. What do you think Chad? Shall we drop some science on him? Okay, but first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for the algorithm. So this week we have a pretty cool study looking at leg extensions and the activation of the different quadriceps muscles in response to changing the hip angle on the leg extension. And I would say for like the last 10 years, I have scoured gyms trying to find leg extensions that I liked. And really two of the main things that really bothered me about a lot of the leg extensions on the market was one, they didn't allow enough range of motion. So ideally that pad should really go back under the seat and allow your quadriceps to be more stretched when you start. Many of these leg extensions, I mean really you're starting at 90 degrees or more. And one of the things to keep in mind is that we know putting a muscle in a stretch position and loading it is one of the impetuses for growth. And we know that doing partial ranges of motion in a shortened position is suboptimal for hypertrophy. But many of the leg extensions out there, you're basically doing partial reps, you're doing half reps. So that was one thing. I'd love to see a pad that kind of goes up under the seat. Uh, and some of them out there do have, I know there's a, a leg extension at like MI40, one of the gyms I train at, that they have a prime leg extension where that pad, you can get it to kind of go back under the seat and get a better stretch position on the quadriceps. But the other thing that I really felt like a lot of leg extensions were missing was the seat angle would be like completely upright. If you're in a more closed hip position, bent over more, it's hard to get as much of a stretch on the quadricep and it's also, it didn't feel like the quadricep was as activated as when you're a little bit more reclined. In fact, I always said, I wish there was a leg extension where you could really like, almost like completely lay it down because that's gonna open your hip angle up more, put those quadriceps in a more stretched position. So this study looked at kind of an upright angle, a slightly reclined angle, and then like a fully reclined angle on the activation of different areas of the quadricep. They also had people rate on a scale what they felt like their activity was and then compared it to the actual activity. So what did they find? Well, they found that being in a slightly reclined or reclined position was significantly better for the activation of the rectus femoris, which is kind of that middle deep muscle in the quadricep. And they also noted that the subjects, the participants, actually pointed out that they felt like they had better activation in those positions. So what are some things that you can do based on this knowledge? The first is choosing a machine where the pad goes a little bit further under the seat. The other thing is really when I use a leg extension, almost always I put the seat as far back as it will go. And even if it is kind of in an upright position, if I put it back as far as it'll go, I can kind of lean back into it. And so that's another thing you can do. Some of these pads just don't go very far back. Uh, a great example is the hoist machines. Hoist makes some great equipment, but their leg extensions are pretty trash to be quite honest with you. You don't get a very full stretch on the quadricep. Now, one of the things that I saw from one of our team biolane coaches, Bernardo, is he takes a pad and puts it up against the pad of the machine, which effectively moves your legs further back and stretches the quadricep more. So what you can do is you can buy a pad that's thick, like this thick, take it, put it up against the pad of the machine and then put your legs up against that. And now you've added like a couple inches of stretch to that movement. So that's another great option for you guys if you wanna get the most out of your leg extensions. But this is honestly a really, really simple way that you can improve a leg extension. And honestly, when I see people where they aren't putting that pad as far back as it will go and the seat as far back as that will go, and they're just kind of like doing this short range of motion. I mean, really, like, is it doing something? Yes, but is it even close to optimal? No. And I think this is a really cool study because my own bias, it confirms what I've kind of thought for years, which is the idea of being 
upright and with a pad just directly down from the seat is not optimal for a leg extension. Unfortunately, that's how a lot of them are built. In fact, so many times I've gotten on pieces of gym equipment and gone, did anybody like actually use this before they made it and shipped it out? Like, did somebody actually try it? Did like a gym person actually try it? Like somebody who's seasoned at resistance training? Now again, I don't want to bag on any companies in particular. There are some really great ones out there. And there are some really great ones that are coming up with new innovative ideas for gym equipment. So uh, definitely don't mess with any leg extensions that are kind of like in a fixed position. All right, guys, if you like these breakdowns of research, make sure you subscribe to my research review reps. Every month we review five studies in fitness and nutrition that are relevant and popular. And we break them down in a way where we tell you what they tested, why they tested it, what they found, what their conclusion was, and we tell you if we agree with that conclusion, and we also give you practical takeaways about what it means for your training and nutrition. It is a great value at only $12.99 a month, and not only do you get access to the current issue, you get access to all of our archived issues, and you get our free 50-page ebook of how to read research, which isn't just giving you a fish, we will actually, in this ebook, teach you how to systematically read research and understand it better so that you can read some of these studies for yourself and draw your own conclusions rather than having to rely on BS headlines in the media and social media influencers who wouldn't know a properly interpreted study if it swam up and bit them on the Jaws reference for all my Jaws fans. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next week.